Welcome back to Tales of Zillia. Uh, last time we did stuff. I don't even remember. We did went through. We went through Bermia Gorge and we came back, did some side quest stuff, and now we're ready to go on. And uh, off screen, I uh, once again did some shopping. I'm once again almost broke. Um, what did I get? I got the breast guard, and I upgraded everyone to leather boots, and I equipped the earth cape onto Rowan. Uh, splint mail, uh, long coat was an upgrade, I bought one of those. I would have bought another silver coat, which is better, but I didn't have enough money. Um, and I think the feather cloak is still the same. But I think that's pretty much it. I pretty much sold everything else I had. Um, so I don't even have accessories, I sold all the accessories. And I expanded the shops a little bit more with what I had on me. Um, but I think that's, that's about it. Um, I think I have skill points to spend. Yeah, I do. A lot of them. Uh, da, 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 immunity, the flash guard. Uh, cost counter. There we go. Uh, solid guard. Immunity flash guard. Magic guard restoration. Sure. Um, the earth guard and the... Flash monetary game. Um, he's gonna flash. Immunity flash. Um, flash. Blunt. We're good. Let's keep going. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything uh, that's been updated since so I did off screen. Uh, levels haven't changed or anything like that. I'm not planning on doing much grinding in this playthrough at all. So uh, we're going to head on in. We're going to go talk to what's his face, and then we are going to move on. Here's Klein. You must be exhausted. You should rest. Allow me to see you to your chambers. You have my gratitude, Rowan. I learned more than I thought I would. Alvin is a fine instructor when it comes to swordsmanship, but I haven't had any opportunities to study spirit arts. Happy to help. Although I suspect I taught little that you didn't already know. I'd never used techniques to control spirits before. I always did it by feel. You're that skilled despite a lack of formal instruction. Impressive indeed. I hope we might practice together again sometime. Nothing would please this old man more. Is that Jude? He is no doubt thinking of Miss Elise. She is a great source of concern for him. I saw it all over his face when he was looking at her earlier. He's caught in his own vicious cycle. He feels compelled to help people, but then he can't stop worrying once he gets involved. <laughs> He's just so... Human. Hey! Allow me to handle this. They were trying to create a new key. I may not have much time left. You do not wish to retire, young master? Uh... Not yet. I need some air. You seem burdened. Perhaps I could offer some counsel. Maybe. It's kind of personal. Is it about Miss Elise, perhaps? Huh? Uh, yeah. My young mistress was kind enough to recount how Miss Elise came to accompany you on your journey. Elise told Drissel about it? She's my responsibility. She has nothing to do with Mila's mission. I don't want to get her involved any more than she already is. Rowan, would the Sherrills be willing to take in Elise? She and Drissel get along so well, and you and Klein have been so nice to her. The girl is little more than a stranger to you, and yet she weighs heavily on your mind. Everyone teases me for being a do-gooding honor student, and maybe they're right. I just can't let things like this go. <laughs> Indeed. Please, leave everything to me. I will discuss this matter with Lord Klein and Lady Drissel personally. Now you should rest. You need not add sleep deprivation to your list of burdens. Thanks. Good night. 
But of course, good night. As we suspected, he was doting over Miss Elise. He would like my master to take her in. I see. Despite his failings, Jude takes his responsibility seriously. Yes, he is a most clever boy. That he is. Yay, stuff. <laughs> okay, so now all we have to do is head downstairs and talk to Klein once again, and we can move on in the story and get stuff going. I still haven't heard from my people at Fort Gondala. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? Very well. I will send him at once. I'm counting on you, Rowan. I will not let you down. How long until you return? Let's see. It should take me no less than a day to get to and from on horseback. Oh. I suppose that means we'll have to bid farewell to our new friends tomorrow. Looks that way, if everything's on track. That settles it. Today, Ellie, Mila, and I are going shopping. Shopping? For real? Hooray! Time's a-wasting. Let's go! Wait, where are we going? I promised to take Ellie shopping, silly. If you're leaving tomorrow, today's our only chance. Ah, uh, very well. You two carry on with your consumerism. Everyone, to the shops! To the, to the shops! shops! Wait, put me down. I have no need for trinkets. It's not gonna kill you to tag along. Yeah, you might actually enjoy acting like a human girl for once. A human girl? Strictly speaking, the concept of gender does not apply to me. I merely took the form of a woman upon manifesting in this realm. I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. It's time to stand against these tyrants. It's the only way to protect this precious peace of ours. Are you going to rebel? Is there going to be a war? I'm certain Noctigal has consolidated his power for an invasion on Azul. He has already shown that he's willing to sacrifice his own people to satisfy his ambition. If he isn't stopped, countless lives in Roshigal and Azul will be lost all for naught. I am the governor, and protecting the people who live here is something that I must do. That's not easy. You're right, but I'm responsible. Now, will you lend me your aid? But, well, I... Deposing Noctigal is in everyone's best interest. We must unite for this cause. Master! Klein! Damn it! Heal him, quickly! Uh, right! This arrow is... No, Jude, please, you mustn't give up now. Rowan, you can't... 
expect miracles. We know that the wound is mortal. It's up to you to look after the country now. But I know that I'm not up to the task. It's impossible. You of all people can do it. I know that you can. Master, no. Don't go. <laughs> Please continue with your report. Yes, sir. The Rashigal army has invaded the town. Our troops are engaged throughout the city. Things just went from bad to worse. Mila and the others are out there. Very well. We must protect Lady Dracel at all costs. Master. Please forgive me for having to leave your side. We must defend the manor. Yes, sir! Let's go! Right. I've made up my mind. Ellie, this is for you. Wow! That's not cheap. Just how much money do you have, Drizel? Now, don't be rude, Tipo. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Hmm? You like that pendant, Mila? No, it's just similar to something I already have. It's just a boring glass ball. It is very pretty, though. Why do you have that? It was given to me long ago by a human child. And you've carried it ever since? What if you dropped it? That would be a dreadful shame. I would be happy to make it into a pendant like this one. Good idea. Let's do it. This is quite pleasing to the eye. Thank you. Ah, stop, please! Resist, and we will show no mercy. What is the meaning of this? Cease your attack this instant! The governor himself has ordered all Rashigal troops to leave the city. And you are? A member of House Cheryl. Hm. Foolish girl. I'm under orders from the king to wipe out any and all rebellious elements. You will come quietly. Or else. What? Take them into custody. House Cheryl is conspiring to rebel against the throne. I don't like the sound of this. Let's run! The doll is right. We must escape before we're surrounded. Something major is at play here. Stick with me, you two. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Don't just stand there! Take her! Oh god, a battle as Mila is shown in an episode? Oh god, this hasn't happened in a while. Uh, oh, and Ellie too. I guess Ellie's in the party too. Oh, I should link him. So, uh, just so you guys know, the, I before all this happened, I knew... Oh, wait, something... Ah! Storyline, I'll explain later. No! Is it over? You got them, yes? <clears throat> Arrest them all! Let's clear out these goons. 
No, it will take too long and waste our energy. Stand down this instant! What point is there in fighting after you've completed your mission? Or are you mere savages who take delight in the suffering of your countrymen? Let us return to the manor. Right. Well, well, well. More crap. Okay, <laughs> I'll go and explain more after we we're done this running back and forth of points. Everything okay? Yes, I have made arrangements for Lord Klein's funeral, although the ceremony will be brief. How could this have happened? The arrow that took my master's life was of a unique design, one used only by Noctagall's personal guard. And considering the timing of the army's invasion, it's obvious this was all a plot by Noctagall. The assassination allowed him to seize complete control of Roshagal. Noctagal does think big. I wonder where they took Mila and the others. Fort Gandala, most likely. A single division of troops couldn't possibly attack multiple cities in a short time. It's reasonable to assume that Sapstrath Seahaven remained safe and under Cheryl control. Thus, our attackers must have been ordered to return to Fenmont. And Fort Gandala is the only place equipped to house troops between here and there. Good thinking. Makes sense to me. We have to save them! I like your moxie, kid, but we're talking about a fortress here. It's not like we can storm the walls. On the contrary, we do need to rush. Tonight may be our only chance. The morale among those troops was visibly low, and now they've been forced to march home after battle with no rest. They'll be at their weakest. And don't forget we have a trump card ready and waiting. That's right! The men we sent to infiltrate the fortress! We should depart at once. A butler, huh? Who is this old man exactly? Okay! Well, oh my god. When will I get a chance to talk, Mila's champions? I can't believe they got Mila. Are you so surprised? These are the same thugs who snared the four great spirits. And I let the same thing happen again. Let's get moving, gentlemen. We can't afford to suffer any more losses. Aren't you listening? These guys are way out of our league. Don't be ridiculous. They haven't a chance. Especially against a warrior of your considerable talent. Hmm? Didn't take you for the sort that props up comrades with sweet talk. That depends on the comrade. Does it seem to be working? A nice effort, but uh, I only fall for flattery when it comes from the lips of a lady. Then let's go save Mila and the others. I'm sure they'll praise you. Oh yeah? Well then, I guess I'll put out a little effort. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, this is a major portion of the game where there is a major split. So, uh, obviously right now Mila is not with us, and Mila's on her, off on her own, and she's gonna have her own little portion, and you're finally gonna, we're gonna, we're, and then, as you saw before, we finally have portions of the game where Mila is the main character in battling. So, yeah.